Hey guys, it's Monica. I am going to actually share with you a few of my empties and a few of the things that I've repurchased and what I'm still waiting to come in. So I don't do a whole lot of empties because I don't usually have a whole lot of empties to share with you, but this is going to be twofold. One is going to be in the bathroom here, skincare, um, my car, you know, just basically my skincare, the things that I, the, that I really, really can't do without basically and the other is going to be in the kitchen and it's going to be more health and diet related stuff so two parts to this video hopefully you'll watch both parts so let me first say that the holy grail to my skincare it's not going to be a surprise to anyone is going to be my retin-a i always have questions on where do i get my retin-a how much does it cost? Do I have a prescription and all that? So I'm going to link a few of my Retin-A videos, but in summary, I do have a prescription for it, although I have not filled it. I buy my Retin-A overseas from a pharmacy in India. does not require currently a prescription to fill it. The prices are amazing. For the same amount of tretinoin or Retin-A that I could buy here locally in New Hampshire would cost me in excess of $300 cost me about six or seven dollars plus I have to pay shipping but I don't care in India so the way that I do it is because you are ordering overseas and there is always some risk factor is I would recommend everyone just check it out extremely carefully before they do anything but I have a separate checking account that I've opened just to buy products like this I pay by e-check and um, I think there's a slight discount, I'm not too sure. But as you can see, I've completely emptied out my 1%. I got this from India. I already have my replacement. I've already started my replacement. And I have plenty of my other two. And I have 0.05 and 0.025. One that I use for my neck, one that I use for around my upper part of my eyes, and then my 1% that I use everywhere else. So I have plenty of this left, plus I have an unopened one which unfortunately I probably won't get to before it expires. But nonetheless, this is my holy grail. And I'm going to say goodbye to this tube. This is the second tube I've completely emptied since I started my Retin-A journey, which has been since the end of August, September of 2016, just to give you a gauge of how long it took me to get to through these. So I've emptied two of them. I have three of them and I have a spare. Anyways, the other things that I have on order, and I'm hoping it comes in because I am like, I probably just have a few days left. And this is the Ordinary Niacinamide. I absolutely love my Niacinamide. I use it only at night. I, you know, and I know there's all different directions and all that stuff that you can follow, but I do not use it at the same time I use vitamin C. So use your own judgment on that. So I use my Niacinamide at night. And I do it after I cleanse, after I tone. I also use this after I drum roll my skin. I will put my niacinamide in on and I will let, a, let it sink in. And this is at night. And then typically at night after that, I'm going to be using my Ordinary Buffet. I have a backup of this already. This one is pretty low. But I have a backup, so I'm okay. The other thing that... It's a holy grail item for me has been my B Venom face mask. There are some people that say this is a dupe of the B Nigma, the more expensive cream. I don't believe that to be so because I think there's a slight variation in the ingredients, although I've never used the B Nigma. Um, this cost me $5.99 when you are lucky enough to see it. I am almost out. It does have a little bit of a, a little bit of a smell. I don't know if you can see how low I am. I've definitely hit pan. <laughs> Has a little bit of a smell, but I like the smell completely. It does not bother me at all. I have a backup and I have a spare backup. So I'm all set with this for a while, but I understand they're, they're not selling this, that it's not on the shelves anywhere, that they're probably going to repackage it. And when they come out with it, who knows, maybe it'll be a much more expensive ver version of it. In the interim, I wanted to try, I saw this at, and some of you if you follow me on Instagram would have seen this, I saw this Bee Venom Rejuvenating Night Cream at TJ Maxx. And this was $6.99. So basically it's a dollar more than my Bee Venom. The container is a little bit more fancier, I suppose. It does not have, 
I have used it. I just stick the little thing back in. It does not really have a smell, at least nothing that I can really pick up on. But the most important thing, the thing that people are going to ask me, because my bee venom cream, this one, when I put it on, it stings like all get out. I mean, stings. This does not. I wish it, I wish it did sting, but it does not. Now, little Susan, oh, I'm sorry, little poet, Susan from Little Poet, is also a bee venom fanatic like I am. And she also loves, this is also her beloved. And she's been on a quest investigating and checking out different products. And she thinks she found one on Amazon that is, I think, close to the bee magnet or close to this one. I'm not too sure. But I haven't tried that as well yet. But the, the holy grail item for me is my bee venom cream. So I've got, you know, those are my tried and true. I definitely, definitely need to have it. The other holy grail, and I've reordered and reordered and reordered, is my timeless vitamin C plus E and folic acid. Will not go without that. I have a big refill size in my freezer. I also have the, from timeless, the Matrixyl Sync 6 that I absolutely love. That is also, I have a bit of the size, I have it in my freezer as well. That's my morning routine. So I really, really love that. The other thing I just want to mention, because I'm getting a ton of people sending me direct messages about this, is the Nivea, the skin firming, soothing. This is the concentrated serum. As opposed to the cream, the serum, the cream. The cream, I believe, is readily available. The serum is probably impossible. I've been told they stopped making this or they stopped selling this. I have a backup. This baby is going to, because I just use this for the fat pockets of my eyes, it's going to last me forever, but I do have a backup. And again, I think like the bee venom, when the manufacturer finally comes back out with it, I mean, who knows how much it's going to cost and what the repackaging is going to be like. So these are, these are the things that I've, I've run out of. The other one that I have to, and I should have pulled it out because my empty is here, is my beloved Care Roast. All gone, all gone, all gone. I saved this container just to show you. I have, um, I'm going to be placing an order. I am going to wait because I am trying some Lash Tonic. I'm doing sort of a little bit of a uh, experiment with Carol from the O'Carroll Show with this Lash Tonic. So I'm going to try that and I'm going to wait for about two weeks to see if I'm seeing a change. And then I'm going to place an order for my Care Prost. I get my Care Prost the same place I get my Retin-A. Very successful so far, so I've been extremely happy with it. The other thing that I've been very, very happy with, and it's kind of interesting, I'm going to mention Susan from Little Poet again. She had done in her latest video, and she had talked about, I guess, her favorites from 2017. And she had actually mentioned, an al you know, the, this Alpha Hydroxy face cream. I get this from Walgreens Studio 35. I guess you can get it at Walgreens, you can get it at Amazon or whatever. But I have been getting this, and um, I've been using this for quite a while. However, I haven't been using it correctly, I don't think, or at least the way that would make sense to me. She mentioned in her video, and it was like, wow, what an, what an idea. I get up, I wash my face, I do my serums, and then, depending on how peely I look or whatever, I put this on put it on. And it always seemed kind of weird to me because I would leave it on maybe for 10, 15 minutes and then I would kind of like rub it off. And it was like, I kept saying, well, I got to try it the other way around. So I started to try it the other way around because it made more sense to put it on before my serums. I get up, I wash my face, I put it on, I leave it on for like 10 minutes and then I rinse it off. And then I do my serums and my makeup. She was talking about how she gets up and before she does anything else, she puts this, I guess, all over her face. And she leaves it on for like an hour. And I was like, wow. And I never really thought of that. Now, her skin is used to it. Mine might not be. Yours might not be. But since I watched her video, I've gotten up in the morning, depending on my time frame, before I've done anything else, I put this on my face. Um, smoothly, not like white gobs of it, you know, just a little bit. I put it on my face. And, um, I mean, it is... It's a, a very liquidy, I don't know if you can, can you see that? I'm not too sure if you can see it. But anyways, I put it on my face and 
I, I leave it on my face. I leave it on my face for like an hour. The first time I did it after a few minutes, I could feel a little bit of a stingy, stingy but nothing bad. And so I leave it on my face. One morning I did an hour and a half because it was over the weekend and I had time. But, you know, so I'm leaving it on my face for about an hour. And then one thing that I noticed is that when I was getting ready to wash it off, I just rubbed gently. It was like a gamache. I mean, I just rubbed very gently with my fingers and I'm like going, because I was checking to see if it was like dry or what, because I was going to wash my face. And it was like, what's all that stuff? So I ran in the bathroom and had all the little nooby things from the Alfie Hydroxy Cream, just like the gamage. It's not all dead skin, but it certainly is helping exfoliate that skin. And so I stood there and I went all over my face with my fingers gently and my whole face peeled up with little, little beads of the cream gathering up. I'm sure there was some dead skin in there, but I thought that was, I thought that was the nuts. I said, wow. So thank you to uh, little, little Poet, to Susan, you know, for that tip. So now I'm going to move this. I'm going to go in the kitchen. Oh, one other thing. My primer. Um, it only bears to say because I use a couple of different mascaras. My It Superhero. I use the Essence in the Purple. I use the Essence in the Green. I use a number of different mascaras, and I like them a lot. But my primer, I already bought it. I, the only one I've really used, I have tried a few others, but the one that I really use is very affordable is my L'Oreal. So I do use the L'Oreal Paris uh, primer under my, uh, you know, on my eyelashes before I apply my mascara. I don't know if you can see anything or not, but that's what I do, guys. So I think I mentioned pretty well everything that I'm out of. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of trash. I am not a hoarder. Well, maybe I am, but I am a, a backup buyer. So I, but I had run out of my, um, my sunblock and I had, I mean, I have like six tubes of it left. So when I find a product I really like, I just really buy it. Same thing with my toothpaste. I buy this off of either eBay or Amazon. So I don't have to worry about running out of this. I don't have to, it's a multi-level marketing company and I don't have to worry about going through anyone if I don't want to. I love this toothpaste. So I am, I uh, guess, a hoarder in that sense. And my beloved Australian gold sunblock, here it is. Yeah, all done with this one, but I have plenty of a backup. So I'm heading in the kitchen, guys. Hopefully it won't be too long. Maybe I'll have to do a two-part on this video. Oh yeah, and I forgot to talk about this. This is Carol from the O'Carroll Show. She said to get this, and I actually did, and this is all gone. This is an empty. And what I really like about this, says Frizz Ease Moisture Barrier Firm and Hold. When I kind of take my hair out of my curlers and I'm fussing around with it, and I spray it, it, it gives me like some hold and some body, but not so that I can't put my brush through or style my hair or do something with it. So I kind of like that. So I'm sorry I forgot that. 